everyone, Noodle here. Today I was working on my menu for the game Souls of Thorneville and I wanted to personally have some GIFs inside the menu, so inside of a UI, and I thought that I would show you guys on how to actually achieve this. So here we are inside Unreal Engine 5 and you can see that these are just images. I made a simple menu, start, options, exit, and I added some images to that to make it um, a GIF. And I wanted to show you how we can do this. So if you get a GIF or anything that you draw yourself, you have to get the frame by frame for a GIF. So you can separate the GIFs by frames. You can use a website for that or just draw them yourselves. Then you go to your textures. So for example, here the fire one. I have got four fire textures for this uh, GIF. And you can right click them and convert, you no, know, create texture array it is. You click on that and then you give it a good name. So A for array or texture array probably. And then fire. And from that texture array, you can make right click a create material here. And once you open that, you can use that array for making the GIF image. Let's see. You have to set the material to user interface. So user interface and set the blend mode to translucent. So when you set the material to those user interface and translucent, you're gonna see if your texture sample has the right area in there. And we're gonna do a texture coordinate, texture coordinate, and append that, append a vector, that one in there. Then over here, you wanna get a time. And a scalar parameter. And that's gonna be the frames per second, that one. I In this case, for me, it's gonna be four, but you gotta see what your own frames per seconds are for your image. And we're gonna multiply that together there. Multiply this one into the B. Drag out from this multiply and you get an F a mod, like so. And you get another scalar parameter right here, which will be your total frames. In this case, also four, but again, you have to adjust it to your own images. Uh, the total frames that you have in your GIF image. Put that in the B and put this in the B of the append. And there you go, it will already appear right here. And then all you have to do is put the alpha into the opacity. Apply and save. And this one you can use in any UI that you like. So I'll just add another image. See, to the canvas panel. I'll drag that out here a little bit and set the image to that uh, texture array, fire, material there. There you go. And that's how you use it inside a UI. And you can use this in any kind of UI, so there you go. So that's it for today's video. Please let me know if you have any questions on any of the, the coding that you see me doing in the other videos. Let me know in the comments below this one or below any of my other videos. Please like and subscribe. See you next time. Bye bye.